Today, Canon finally released their news on their VR 180 camera, the RF 5.2mm f2.8 LCD dual free shot lens, and their flagship AK mirrorless camera, the Canon R5. Here is Canon's official AK VR 180 sample footage in the left and right eyes format. If you want to see what it looks like in the Oculus Quest 2 VR headset, I provided the sample for the download link in the description down below. You can sign out on your VR headset and check it out yourself. If you listen to my advice, hold on buying a professional VR 180 camera. This is the consumer and prosumer VR 180 setup I was talking about almost 8 months ago. Now the secret is out, I can finally talk about it. Disclaimer, I did not get the chance to shoot with the official unit just yet, but I played with the beta lens on the R5 body in a private briefing with Canon. Let me tell you, it is one of the best VR 180 I saw in a VR headset. After reading the news, I immediately pre-ordered the Canon R5 and getting ready to pre-order the VR 180 lens whenever it's available to pre-order. As you know, Quirilla Up is one-stop shop for anything virtual reality filmmaking. So I will create an in-depth review of this setup, compare it with the Zcam K2 Pro, FM Duo, and any other VR 180 camera releasing in the upcoming future. And yes, there will be more, can't tell you yet though. So what is so special about this setup? Using a single dual free shot lens on a one single camera body. Well, Canon has been doing R&D in the past two years for a perfect VR camera. They saw the K1 Pro, the K2 Pro, the red Komodo setup I did, and the other in Star to see solution. The problem of any professional VR 180 setup before Canon is the left and right eye image sensor are stored in a different image sensor. This approach creates syncing issues, which lead to a very bad 3D. Even those manufacturers say two sensors are gen locked, if you do a laser test in a rolling shutter sensor, you see drift in a long recording. Another obvious reason is post production. If you're following the tutorial on this channel and have Mystica VR subscription, then the post production is easy for you. But for the majority of the creators out there, 3D calibration of two different sensors inside Mystica VR is still very difficult. Simple mistakes like flipping the left and right eye are very common. That is the fastest way to make your audience hate VR videos. Canon VR 180 solution limited that all together by capturing left and right eyes in one single 8K sensor on a R5 body. So it is 4K per eye, which is the highest resolution VR 180 camera except for the FM Duo, which I reviewed it already in my last video right here. Therefore, you already have perfectly synced your fish eye footage with a correct 2D of your SD card. Very important, correct 3D with no vertical parallax and a correct IPD distance, which is 60mm. I have shot lots of VR 180 videos in the past 3 years with hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube VR and Oculus TV. I can tell you the worst thing that can happen to a 3D video is vertical parallax. Look at this footage captured by the install you see Titan 10K 3D VR 180 camera. There is a vertical disparity and which is what makes your viewers sit in VR headset. It is all in a subconscious level, they can't tell you why they hate the VR video, they just hate it after seeing it in a VR headset. Because of vertical parallax. The Canon dual fish eye lens is perfectly calibrated to remove vertical parallax. In a traditional VR 180 production workflow, you have these steps. With the Canon VR 180 system, you can skip 5 steps as a producer, think about how much money you can save in production and post-production. Canon will have their software and Adobe Premiere plugin to convert raw fisheye video into VR 180 format for Oculus TV and YouTube VR. But it is a subscription-based solution that is not free. If you know Mystica VR, it is also going to be very easy with even more stereo 3D control. I will provide my Mystica VR template, SD map for DaVinci Resolve Fusion or Revision Release preset when I have the camera to create it. So you can save some money on a subscription no matter what editing software you use, Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or Nuke. What about the full system cost? The lens itself costs around 2000 US dollar. The R5 body costs 3899, so it's just under 6000 US dollars, making it still a good prosumer price range. Consider the FM Duo, which costs 20,000 US dollar. 
that is still very affordable for everyday content creators. Can it work with the RT6 body and other Canon camera? In theory, yes, but if you are thinking about shooting VR 180 video, R5 is what I would recommend. Having 8K 4K per eye is future-proofing your content, especially when Oculus roll out Crest 3 with even higher video spec. Is it Canon R5 the best camera for this list? I actually don't think so. The reason why Canon decided to design a list inside a full frame full system like the FM Duo is that they want their lens to work on their future camera system. R5 can only do 8K in 30 frames per second. We will need a system to capture 8K in 60 frames per second. The new R3 with 6K 60 frames per second is almost there, but I'm sure next year Canon will roll out an 8K 60 frames per second camera that will work with this lens. Another noticeable feature is RAW capture. Canon RS3 can capture video in RAW, which makes colorless and VFX artists happy in designing metaverse inside Unreal Engine. More on that in a future tutorial. You can see the official spec on the Canon website or this video description down below, but I want to point out several features that are important for professional VR 180 content creators that are not emphasized on their release video. First, close focusing distance of 20 centimeters. This makes close-up VR 180 possible. Think about a makeup tutorial in VR 180 or virtual dating if there's something that you are into. Close-up 3D 180 really opens the world of possibility. Changeable aperture range from f2.8 to f16 with a 7-blade aperture control. Built-in gelatin filter holder allows you to add ND gel filters or created gel filter. This is actually one of the features I really recommend Canon to have and I'm so glad to see they make it happen. This allows us to control motion blur in outdoor VR shooting, which no VR 180 camera has it. Canon is the first one. Lens flare is a common issue in any VR camera. Canon has a special coating on the front lens elements, not only make the lens dust and water resistant, but also remove lens flare so you can shoot anytime on any daylight without worrying the sun and the flare. As I said, I will have the system very soon and dive into a deep review for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe to us, hit the notification bell, comment below and tell me what you want to know more and I will collect all your comments and concerns and create a better review and tutorial just for you. So I will see you next time.